UK weather, Met Office issues new danger to life warnings after four people killed on the roads. The Met Office has advised people be prepared to change their plans and to protect friends and family from the severe weather as the country could see its coldest spell since 1991. A danger to life warning has been issued by the Met Office as snowfall is set to intensify throughout the week. The beast from the east has already unleashed deadly chaos on Britain with dozens of car crashes and 556 schools closed. Three people were killed in a crash between a car and a lorry on the A15 near Baston in Lincolnshire and another was killed in a collision on the A47 in Cambridgeshire Road A and there will be no let-up to the snow and freezing temperatures with the Met Office upgrading its weather warnings for many parts of the country from yellow to amber. Amber warnings have now been issued for most of the UK including Wales, West Midlands, London, and South East England, South West England and parts of Scotland and Northern England. According to the weather agency, amber means, there is an increased likelihood of potential risk to life and property. It means you need to be prepared to change your plans and protect you, your family and community from the impacts of the severe weather. The Met Office said Northeast England and Scotland are expected to see the most snow between Wednesday morning and Thursday afternoon, with up to 40 centimetres of snow expected in some areas. It also said, strong winds will lead to drifting of snow and severe wind chill, while lightning could be an additional hazard particularly near coasts. Between Thursday and Friday there is also a chance of snow turning to freezing rain bringing an additional significant ice risk. There is also a warning temperatures could drop as low as 15 C. The weather warning for Scotland could be upgraded even higher to the highest ever red level. Transport Minister Hamza Yousf said amber warnings for snow and freezing winds along the entire east coast and across the central belt between Edinburgh and Glasgow and as far west as Greenock from the early hours of Wednesday could be changed to red for extreme weather in certain areas. Mr Yousf said, we are right on the cusp, we are at the strongest possible amber warning, and right on the cusp of potentially becoming a red. That means a high likelihood of a high impact so that could be not just treacherous but frankly dangerous if you travel. Forecasters are predicting 5 cm to 10 cm of snow will fall in other areas of the UK. Before the storm, panic buyers rushed to supermarkets amid fears the storm would bring parts of the country to a grinding halt. Pictures posted online showed bare shelves and huge queues as shoppers stocked up in places such as a Tesco Extra branch in Gillingham, Kent, and Dublin on Monday. Met Office meteorologist Emma Silito said, There will also be further disruption throughout the day as these showers become widespread across the country. Conditions are not likely to improve for several days, with forecasters warning that snow will continue well into the week. Forecaster Frank Saunders said parts of the country could see their coldest spell of weather since at least 2013, and possibly since 1991. The severe weather has caused accidents on the roads, including one where three people were killed in Lincolnshire this morning. Police said there were 20 collisions within three hours on Lincolnshire's roads, including a school bus with 45 people on board. And, a man died and another person suffered life-threatening injuries after three crashes on the A47 in Cambridgeshire. Meanwhile the AA have said it has had to rescue dozens of stranded motorists. Vince Crane, of the AA, said, with the sub-zero temperatures this week, drivers should allow extra time to properly de-ice the car and check their route before setting off, try to favor gridded roads if possible. Accidents happen when people rush so when on the road, leave plenty of space behind the car in front and drive to the conditions. Disruptions and cancellations to public transport have also taken place and many schools have also closed and could remain closed for the rest of the week. In Kent more than 339 shut their doors. Roger Goff, for education at Kent County Council, said every effort is being made to keep schools open. However, 
There will be times when schools may have to close because it is no longer safe to have pupils and staff on site, he added. Several train companies have been hit by cancellations and disruptions and services are expected to be extremely busy. National Rail Inquiry said severe weather was affecting services on C2C, Greater Anglia, London Overground, Southwestern Railway, Southeastern, Stansted Express and TfL Rail. Disruption may continue through Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, Network Rail said. It urged customers to check services before travelling. London Overground is running a stripped-back service, with between two and four trains per hour on many routes, and no services on other lines, such as between Romford and Upminster. Train firm C2C is operating a limited timetable and advises its customers not to travel where possible. Greater Anglia is also running a limited service with less frequent and slower services between Norwich and Ipswich and cities such as London and Cambridge. Trains between Norwich and Lowestoft, Felixstowe and Great Yarmouth are cancelled, among others. Southeastern said it expects to run a normal timetable but if conditions worsen an emergency timetable may be introduced. The snow and ice is also causing disruption to flights. British Airways cancelled dozens of flights from Heathrow Airport on Tuesday, while EasyJet said it is expecting some disruption. British Airways said in a statement it was preparing for adverse weather until March 2, saying it was likely to affect some of our short-haul and domestic flights. It added, it is likely at times we will have to proactively cancel some services and rebook customers onto alternative flights. Customers on cancelled services can also claim a full refund if they no longer wish to travel. We are sorry for the potential disruption to your travel plans and are doing all we can to minimize the effect the poor weather may have on our flights. Northeast England and Scotland are expected to see the heaviest snow from Wednesday morning, with 15 to 25 centimetres likely across Scotland, the Met Office said.